Hiya, um, quick book review. This is, you can see it was a cheap one, I got it in a charity shop for a pound and actually it was in pretty good condition. Um, this book is Alone in a Wide Wide Sea by Michael Morpurgo who obviously is really a kids, teens writer. Um, Private Peaceful was one of his famous ones and he's just released one about an elephant, I can't remember what it was called though. Um, this one was released in, da, 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 tell me if I could find a day, 2006. So it's not recent, recent, but it's, and you can see it's in two parts. Part one is the story of Arthur Hophouse and part two is the journey of Kitty Four. And the start sort of 199 pages apart really. Um, the book is... The book itself is 306 pages and then there are two pages of now that you've read the book and then there's an afterward. So altogether it is 313 pages and then at the very very end there's a map which I guess relates to the story. So. Um, I'll read the back view. It says, There were dozens of us on the ship, boys and girls. We were off to Australia, but it might as well have been the moon. So that's a little excerpt in blue. And then the blurb says, Orphaned in World War II, Arthur is separated from his sister and sent to the other side of the world. There his extraordinary journey continues, as he and his friend Marty survive brutal captivity on a working farm, find a new family with the eccentric Andy Meg and her animals, and discover their talent for designing yachts. Sixty years later, Arthur's daughter Ali sets sail single-handed in a yacht, designed by her father, determined to find his long-lost sister in England. Can family love stretch across time in the vastness of oceans? And will the threads of Arthur's life finally come together? And the Sunday Times are quoted as saying, while Pergo does it again. That's the back of the book. I really enjoyed this. I've enjoyed every one of his books that I've read and I do tend to sort of seek out his books to read with or to children at work. Um, I think he's a really good author and I love this picture on the cover. It's a little boy sort of looking through the porthole of a boat to the seagull going past in the sea underneath. I think that's fabulous. Um, so yeah, I really enjoyed this. I'm not going to go into it because I'm scared that I'll give too much away if I say too much about it and I don't want to spoil it. I think it's one of those that it has to unfold for you as you take it as it happens. Um, but it really is, it's beautifully written and the normal text is pretty average, it's that kind of size. But then there are parts where there is can find it. I'll show you what I was going to show you in a minute but if you see each chapter doesn't have a chapter number it has a title so that one's what goes around and comes around but each one is like the line of the sea and a little sailing boat at the top which I think is really cute. Um, there are parts where there are pictures and diagrams in the middle of the book which actually are quite interesting. And there are parts which are written as letters and diary entries and things where the writing is like that, if you can see. So yeah, I think this is a really good book and I think everybody ought to read Michael Moore Pergo books, whether they're a child or an adult. Um, so comment below, let me know what you thought of that if you've read it. And if you've read any other Michael Moore Pergos, let me know what you think, because there's bound to be some that you've read that you like that I've not read yet. That I would read if you recommend them. Please try that with my teeth. If you recommend them to me, so yeah. Again, that's oh, and that's the other thing I really loved was the spine. If you look at it, it's got his name and the title. And but then here, if I flip it around so you can see, it's like a continuation of the picture. So it's like a boat coming towards you. So yeah. So let me know what you think and I shall speak to you soon.